tonight. And you can see it on their faces when Cartier Jara. Working against Cartier Diata. Cartier Jara. Jara the steal. Point right there for Cartier, yada. <laughs> yada. <laughs> he said yada. That's Bill up saying it. Uh, still to this day, people don't don't say it right, even if I tell them 10, 20 times in a row. Just... Cartier, Ducati, Jada. Cartier, Ducati, Jada. I say Cartier. My dad says Cardi Cartier. I don't mind how people say Cartier, and I don't mind how they say the last name, but the last name pronounced the right way is Jada. And in the windmill slam by Cartier Diata. Oh, don't do it, but he does. And make the purple people just go bonkers there at Bramlage Coliseum. Kansas State a winner. I'm camera side. I'm off. Well, we took each game one at a time, and we made two road games. Huge, huge games. Anytime you can try to get a road win in this conference, it's big against whoever it is, especially them, two really good teams. K-State, excellent. Out the passing lanes with the deflections. Here's Brown in the corner for three. Baylor was a tough team, you know. They they, they, they didn't have their, their star guys, I guess you could say. Uh, but they came out and fought like their back was against the wall, and you can see that's how they played. I mean, it was, it was a tough game until, I want to say, about five, six minutes left in the game. We kind of broke their spirit a little bit with some stops and some scores. We know that they're going to play zone, and now this year it's more of a tighter zone, and it was compact. It wouldn't let us get into the high post. So we had to go attack from the corners. So was, they're a different kind of a team, a different look, just with the injuries and their personnel. They don't have the same length that they've had in the past. So that was a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of adjustment. But thankfully, our older guys, senior-laden team, uh, they were able to figure it out a little bit on their own. You know, our guys are smart. They're good basketball players. Five on the shot clock. Big shot, Barry Brown. Comes it up again. Good hands by Jada. And he leaks it out to Brown with the throwdown. Texas was another tough one. We lost to them at home by 20. It's not always about who you play, but when you play them. And at that time, Texas was hot. They'd won two in a row, really were playing well. So we kind of had that chip on our shoulder, like just to show them, the conference, and everyone else that they weren't a better team than us. Into the front court, long pass. Here is Sean Neal Williams. Great pass to Wade, and he'll throw it down. What a pass for Sean Neal Williams. We came out, man. Really wanted to get stopped, really wanted to get shutouts. Got some early fouls, I feel like, and then later in the game, we were able to just get shutouts after shutout after shutout and uh, hit some big time shots. Brown step back, got it. Oh, Barry Brown Jr., wow. Reverse layup, no, and Xavier Steen for the ball. He pushes it ahead to Cam. Stokes with the ball, gets it off to Wade, and the throwdown. Tomahawk shot there. For our guys to show that same resolve and bring that same toughness mentality it was really, really important because they were playing well at the time. Driving by Roach, great pass to McCall May Wien for the throwdown. He's got seven. And they turn it over. It's Roach kick up ahead. Brown and the throwdown. Back out to camp. Three-pointer on the left. Splash! He got it! How many times have those seniors worked together, Wyatt? Unbelievable. K-State has won eight. Now make it nine straight in conference play. How about that? 71-64. Your Wildcats remain in first place. Hey, 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 hey. hey roll down on three. One, two, three. Roll roll down. Down. Number 18, Kansas State hosts number 23, Iowa State. Kansas State comes in the second best scoring defense in the nation. Iowa State has the best scoring offense in the Big 12. I'm out with me, baby. Every possession for me. Let's go. I think with the Iowa State game, it was every time we were about to take the lead or get right there and break the momentum, they just had a momentum breaking shot. We weren't on our toes, we weren't ready to play on defense, and uh, we weren't as active as we needed to be, taking stuff away, getting out to shooters. Right? Obviously, they made a lot of threes. One second to go, half-court shot, yes! 
he hit the half-court shot. I feel like all our losses are just humbling experiences, man. You know, it's just understanding that you can still be beaten. Uh, we won nine in a row. Um, we were pretty high, and then Iowa State just brought us a little low and helped us to realize that even on your own home floor, anything is possible, so you got to come out and play. Against a team like that, that I was thinking that game, they were just shooting it unbelievably well. You know, Gordon Tucker was coming in the game shooting 29% from three, and he just goes nuts. And sometimes that's what you have to have to win road games in the Big 12. You know, we've done it to other people, too. And everything just got a little bit more crowded atop the Big 12 standings with a humongous road win for the Iowa State Cyclones. As soon as the Iowa State game was over, we left that night. We left that night because the whole thing was to just get there and rest. You know, get there and be ready and rest. Let's not sit here and sulk on the Iowa State loss and beat ourselves up. I and mean, now one loss turns into two. Is this the new episode of All In? All In or All In? It's kind of like they have Traveling definitely gets tiring. Different road games that have different environments and whatnot. And you just got to prepare. And at the end of the day, uh, what matters is the people on the court and what they do. I think it's just a mental thing, honestly, just understanding that. We're not going to be in our own environment with our own fans cheering for us. Uh, so I think it, it kind of gets us a little bit more focused. Like you said, still playing for first place, and it's, it's one of our bucket list uh, things. We haven't got a one here in a couple years now, so oh, it's tough. It's the dog days of the 12 right now. It's about who's a tougher team right now, who's more resilient, who's more mentally tough and mentally focused in on the uh, goal at hand right now. Roll dogs on three. One, two, three. Roll dogs. Now, we miss no games. I get to be me with all of, with everybody. Everybody gonna feel us all night. Put on a show tonight. Defensively locking their up. Come on, let's go. We're in Morgantown. Mountaineers and the Wildcats here tonight. Tan with it to Wade. Open 4-3. That one good. He knocks it down from long distance. Stokes straight away NBA three and he buries it. I feel like I've always had a mid-range game, and I think it's kind of just taking off right now. Barry Brown jumper, yes sir! Barry Brown with a fadeawayer again. X got hot in the second half. If you have somebody get hot from the three-point line, it, that always makes a huge difference. But our guys were tough and physical when we played. We went all the way down on our bench, everyone got in and, and contributed. Keeps the dribble, three seconds, two seconds, long three, yes, at the buzzer! We're not comfortable. We're not comfortable until it's, until it's over. We don't have a big enough lead to be comfortable. It's only one game away. We just got to stay humble, man, honestly. Stay humble, stay working. Understand, like I said earlier, that, that we can be beaten at any given time. I don't think there's any pressure to win. I think our guys just want to win. You know, whether you were in eighth, fifth, fourth, first, you're always playing to win. And I think our guys have that mentality. Hey, let's go, man. Road dog on three. One, two, three. Road, Road dog. dog. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir.